Hey, today I want to talk to you about what is THCA. It's showing up everywhere. You're seeing it online in smoke shops. People are talking about it on social media, but what exactly is it? I've had people tell me, oh, it's THCA. That means it's stronger than THC. It must be something really cool. Well, I'm here to tell you exactly what it is, whether THCA is legal and whether you should try it. I'm Shireen with MyPainCenter.com and let's jump right in. What is THCA? THCA is bud. THCA is flower. So like when you go into a dispensary, when you are buying weed from someone and they give you bud or flower or like a pre-roll, um, I don't have any flower to show you right now, but what's in here is THCA. So THCA is a cannabinoid. You've got CBD, CBG, CBD or CBN, Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10, THC, THCA, they're all cannabinoids. They're all coming from the plant, from the marijuana plant. In its pure form, right, in its raw form, THCA is a non-psychoactive cannabinoid, meaning you can ingest THCA and not feel high. You'll get some benefits out of it. So example, you'll get relaxation, you'll get some anti-inflammatory, you'll get some neuroprotective relief. So basically what I'm saying is, if somebody gave you bud or flour, or like I can open this up, right, and I can take the flour out of here, I can grind it up, I can put it in my oatmeal or my smoothie, and I can ingest it. And I will not feel a psychoactive high. I will, however, get some benefit out of it. So say I just take this the way it is, right? This is THCA flour and I light it up, I heat this. When I heat THCA, it turns into THC. Did you hear me correctly? It turns into THC. So THCA is the precursor of THC. But for it to transform from THCA to THC, it needs to be activated by heat, which is called decarbing it. So you probably heard this word decarbing if you've ever tried to make like brownies at home, like weed brownies. Um, when somebody sells you the flour, um, they say you make sure you decarb the flour before you actually make the brownies, meaning put the flour in the oven and heat it up. This activates the THC. So technically you're taking the THCA flour and turning it into THC. Think about it this way, like in high school or whenever you were like buying weed from the local dealer behind the school playground or underneath the bleachers and they were selling you the bud or the flour, that was THCA. And then when you're heating it up, it is activating the THC in the THCA and turning it into THC, it's decarbing it. The best way to ingest THCA is through flour or pre-roll. Um, you can also get vapes. Um, it's coming in a vape form as well. Good thing about the vape is the same thing. It's, it's THCA and then the device heats up and it turns it into THC. Now there are some gummies that are now adding THCA into the gummies. I wanna warn you that remember THCA in its raw form is non-psychoactive. However, the gummy bears, a lot of them are mixing it with Delta 8 or Delta 9. So you are going to feel a psycho psychoactive high, but that's not because of THCA. That's because of the Delta 8 or the Delta 9. The THCA is not going to give you that. So I don't want you to go and run out and get a THCA gummy thinking you're not going to get high because you most likely will. For a lot of these gummy bears that are putting the THCA on the gummies, it's more for marketing ploy. It's more of a like a, look, another new variable on the packaging. Get excited. Come try this. Okay. If you are on a gummy bear regiment right now, say you're taking CBD every day or Delta 8 gummies or Delta 9 gummies, I would not suggest you moving over to a THCA gummy. You're not going to get enough benefit out of making that move. Let's talk about, is this legal? It is. Um, this is legal federally under the Farm Bill of 2018. The Farm Bill says that as long as it's made out of hemp, which it is, and it's less than 0.3% of THC on a dry weight basis, it is legal. The interesting thing about THCA is that if you live in a state where it's not recreational weed is not legal or there's no medical marijuana yet, like you can order this stuff online and have it shipped to your house. And then obviously then when you light it up, it's turning into weed. So you're basically buying weed on the internet. Um, and that's what the government doesn't like. So just be careful about that, that this, this is most likely gonna go away um, shortly. And then the last thing is, should you try it? Should you try THCA? That's a personal decision. I say yes. I'm all about trying anything. I'm very big on THC and Delta 8 and Delta 9 and anything in CBD 
and CBG and CBN, I'm, I'm all for anything that's going to help you have a better life, right? So whether you need relief from pain or inflammation or anti-nausea or, or you need an appetite stimulant or you need help with your mental health. So say you're going through depression or PTSD or anxiety. I am all for trying products to help you get to where you are. Now, if you're already on a gummy bear regimen, like I said, stick with that gummy bear regimen. Taking a THCA gummy bear is not going to make a difference for you. However, if you're smoking, if you're big on smoking flour or pre-rolls or even vaping and you've been vaping CBD or Delta 8 or Delta 10, I would say go ahead and try this. Go ahead and try THCA because you're going to just get more benefit out of it. Like there's no harm to it to going into trying it. The only thing I would say that I say in every video is make sure you do your research, right? So make sure whatever product you're buying, you're checking the lab results, making sure that you are getting a product that actually has THCA in it. You also might just have a really bad experience, right? Because you don't know where it came from and then you're going to feel like you got scammed and then you're going to get really angry. Just do your research. If you have questions you can ask them down below love to help you as much as we can but this is basically what thca is thca is the raw organic non-psychoactive precursor to thc which is a psychoactive cannabinoid that will come with its own side effects like dry mouth and red eyes but also a bunch of medical benefits that are really going to help you it is as of right now federally legal still and I think it's an amazing product. I, do, I definitely do, but please exercise caution. If you have experience using THCA, drop it down below. I'd love to hear about it. If you uh, have any other questions about it, drop it down below. I'd love to help you answer them. Until next time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video.